What's going on guys, Copert here, and welcome back once again to my mailbag series. The series I like to use to end the week on a high note, kind of interact directly with you guys, talk casually, relax, and uh, finish up the week, talk a little bit about what I'm excited about for the weekend, hear what you guys are doing for the weekend. Weather's changing, it's been beautiful two days here where I'm at, I'm in the northeast. Uh, excited to get out, kick off soccer tomorrow with my oldest, uh, the both boys have swimming lessons, which has been quite an adventure. I think we're going to take them on like, a little nature hike afterwards and stuff, just get the heck out of the house. Exercise, exercise. I'm finally getting over the plague I've been having. I feel pretty good. My energy level's coming back. Actually, I feel fantastic. Um, so now it's time to start kind of living better. <laughs> uh, make some smarter decisions. I went and got a full physical. I might make a whole video about this, actually. Look for uh, some help from you guys. I uh, you know my father passed away recently. Makes you think. I'm not getting any older. My birthday's next week. Uh, you know, you start thinking about these things. Got a full, com you know, test and all that stuff. I got some results. Nothing bad. Nothing, pretty good, actually. Better than I thought it might be. Uh, I just got to start making some better decisions and exercising more, which I think everybody's in the same boat. But I plan to do it this time. And, uh, like I said, I'll probably make a video about that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys. A little casual interaction. Well, that sounded like a kind of sketchy 80s movie, didn't it? Um, and just... I got four questions here. One's relatively serious. I'll start off with that. And then the other two are kind of casual, uh, just about me and a little more lighthearted. So let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, the first question is from Dynamic Factor X. Dear Culprit, now that we have heard that the rumor that Visceral Games might be working on the new Battlefield, do you think that DICE are taking themselves off Battlefield? I think that they will be releasing a Battlefield title every two years and switch between the two studios to grant more time from each game. What do I think? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't paid a ton of attention to this. Because to me, it just doesn't matter right now. Uh, I'm still focused on Battlefield 4 and things. But I, I mean, I know enough about this to comment. Um, yes, I think they're going to go to a rotational system uh, every two years. I don't think that's really going to solve a heck of a lot because DICE had two years, and this is what we got with Battlefield 4. I don't kind of... Uh, it's hard because a year ago, I would have told you I hate this. I want DICE to handle it. It's DICE's baby. I want their Battlefield. But you know what? After Battlefield 4, I think some new ideas and a new take on Battlefield isn't going to hurt. Keep the core. We've also heard about this police base, uh, police themed Battlefield. I don't know what that's going to be. Chances are what that is going to be some kind of cops and robbers game based on the Frostbite engine, and people just don't know how the hell to explain that. Um, but as far as, you know, the actual Battlefield rotation, again, I'm not very familiar with Visceral, uh, overall. I haven't paid into too much detail here, but, I wish I would almost go to a three-year rotation, have one year off, no Battlefield at all. You could fill something else in there if you want. There's plenty of games out there, guys. And then, you know, every, and then have two, two games with a three-year dev cycle. I think we'd overall, it would suck, that initial wait, which is right now, where we'd be waiting out for the next game for two or three years. But I think overall we'd get a better quality game, and that is what we all want. I mean, again, I love Battlefield 4, but I hate Battlefield 4. It's, 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 it, I, I hate it. Not because of what it is, but what, because of what it could have been. And I see there just how fantastic it could have been. A couple different design changes, uh, you know, better finishing of the product, execution, obviously. Um, you know, a bad game is a bad game, and I don't waste two minutes on it. I, my time is too precious to me. I don't play bad games. When the game has potential and it really could be spectacular, but it's not, ah, oh, that's infuriating with me. Ah, oh, drives me nuts. And, and that was, I would have said that about Battlefield 3. Um, I think Battlefield 3 was closer to his potential. But I think Battlefield 4 has a higher ceiling, but it's further away from it. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I think the rotation is good. I think the new eyes, new brains, new ideas are good. I just hope they're not going to, you know, you know, make this Call of Duty. Uh, but, and I think that's probably the way they're going. They're trying to make money. I understand that. I, guess I said I wish the dev cycle was a little longer. That would be my biggest thing. I'm not, I'm not, I can't really comment on Visceral themselves. Uh, I don't know if that's a good choice or not. And again, who knows? Because DICE has really let me down. And I feel like my interpretation of Battlefield and what I want it to be and DICE's interpretation of what they want it to be or maybe, you know, EA's telling them what they want it to be, are, the gap is widening, so perhaps a different studio is not a bad thing. But thank you very much for the question. Hope that made sense. All right, question number two is from Luke Jensen. I hope I said that okay. Uh, great video. What kind of music do you like, and do you listen to music while gaming? Um, I'm not much of a music guy. Uh, I, I have I have incredibly shallow tastes. Uh, I don't even know. I have uh, there, everybody says this, but I like all kinds of music. It's probably because I'm not much of a music aficionado. My wife is the music nut, and luckily my boys are loving music. Um, I enjoy it. It's just not one of those things like I'm not the type of person that has to listen to music all the time. Um, I don't listen to music while I'm gaming. I, I think the audio cues in the game are huge, you know, especially for a game like Battlefield. If I'm playing a different game, like let's say I'm playing one of my Let's Plays or something like that, I will actually be more inclined to put a uh, podcast or something like that up on the other screen and listen to that. I, I'm, I'm a learning nut. Like If I'm not learning something, I feel like I'm wasting my time. And I know that sounds ridiculous, 
But that's just how I am. Like, I, if I have time, I want to try to learn something. And it doesn't have to be like this encyclopedic learning. It could just be something stupid about video games, you know. But uh, you know, it's 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 weird because I should listen to music more. It probably relax me. I probably overall enjoy my experience more. It just never really occurs to me. I'm trying to think of ways to incorporate that in with streaming because I do want to stream more. It's still a goal. I've kind of fallen down and stumbled. And again, I, I, there's reasons for that. I'm not going to get into now about streaming over the winter. I do want to stream more, and music obviously is a big thing, and I know you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to have to figure that stuff out. Um, probably going to look for some help for you guys on that, on taste and what you guys want to listen to and that stuff. But uh, I'm not a big music guy. I do enjoy it. I think, you know what, if we had a better setup in the house, which is something I'm researching, I, I, I'm looking to kind of put a system in the house or maybe just like a sauna system, something like that. Again, because my boys love music. I want to have it more in our lives. I think if it's there, I'll use it. It's just right now I don't really have any real good, you know, I got my speakers and stuff, but if I'm editing or something, I don't like that interfering. So uh, the answer to your question is, what kind of music do I like? Uh, all kinds. Uh, I've, as I've gotten older, it's changed quite a bit. Uh, I've, I've discovered like Johnny Cash and and, and, and stuff like that. A big we're a big uh, Imagine Dragons fans lately. My boys love their stuff for some reason. Uh, yeah, my music right now is pretty much dictated by my kids. When I was younger, it was dictated by what you hear when you're out. I guess uh, you know. Again, I'm kind of uh, I'm not a, I'm not a trendsetter that way. I'm kind of follow the path. I guess I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, I hip hop all that stuff when I was younger. I still do. I just think it's garbage now. Um, I find myself listening to older stuff, and that makes me feel really old. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of other songs that might pop into my head, but you know, they, if I had a playlist, it would have all kinds of stuff. It'd have Jack Johnson, Dave Matthews, Johnny Cash, she's uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, Run DMC, uh, uh, Radioactive, uh, Imagine Dragons is big now. Uh, God, the song we're hearing all the time right now is the uh, Pharrell from. Uh, what is a happy the happy song from what's that movie? Uh, Despicable Me Too. Oh God, that's on loop right now in my house. But it's a good tune. But what, the thirty or forty or ninetieth time it gets a little old. But thank you very much for your question, man. I hope I answered it for you. Have a nice weekend. All right, question number three is from Juan Enrique One Two Three. Uh, I guess my question will be the same as the one on the forum post. We have forums on companiesusually.com. It's kind of our little community. We discuss over there. Juan's a you know kind of a pillar member of that. Um, and how long after the last DLC will you keep playing Battlefield 4? Well, that's really the question, isn't it? Um, I will definitely be playing it. There's no doubt I'll be playing it still, and I will continue to play it. Um, the question is how much. It's not, you know, how long, it's how much will I be playing it. You know, obviously spring is coming. Uh, Battlefield 4 is hitting that point for me. You know, when, when Battlefield 3 launched and Battlefield 4 launched, it, it, Battlefield 4 was different because of all the issues it had. These games, they consume me. I have to play them. I want to play them. Every free moment, I want to get on this PC and play. And when I'm not on a PC, I'm on Twitter talking about it. And it just consumes you. It's all the time. Um, at, you know, at Battlefield 3, as that time went on, I think it was longer. I'd have to really sit down and look at it. Where I kind of was like, yeah, all right, maybe I want to play something else. Or maybe I just don't want to play games tonight or whatever. Um, Battlefield 4 is kind of getting to that point. Uh, Naval Strike is kind of relit the flame a little bit, and and I'm these these uh, challenges I'm giving myself to get better help in that regard. But uh, you know it's stopping it's stopping it's still my primary game, but it's not consuming me anymore. Um, and I am starting to look over the fence at other things and stuff. But there's just not much out there, especially in the shooter market. I it's still the best shooter I, I play. It's the only one I want to play. I really don't have room for one shooter. In my you know I'm not a natural shooter guy. I'm just not a natural talent. I take a lot of work and, and practice and dedication to get to any level that I'm at. So I can't play multiple. I'm not one of these guys that jumps in and headshots and counter-strike, then goes kills insurgency, and then, you know, dominates planet side. I, that's not me. So um, I will be with Battlefield 4. Uh, I don't know what the, the project dates are, what the next iteration is going to be. We really don't know much about that at Battlefield 5. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're going to, we're not going to be getting that this fall. Clearly, it's probably going to be something else. Uh, it's, it's a matter of what comes and t- takes my attention away. I don't see anything on the horizon right now, to be quite honest. So, uh, maybe the division is the one. I'm, just the only thing that's popping off my head, maybe. But it, I don't feel like that's very much the same. Uh, so, how much longer or longer after the DLC? I don't know. I, I really can't answer that. It's a long way away. I guess it's end of summer. I'll definitely play it through the winter. I mean, I'm forgetting that the DLCs are coming pretty quickly. I have high hopes for the last DLCs, even though they're made by Dice LA, which I haven't been too pleased with their con- their stuff. Um, I'll definitely play it into the fall and winter. So uh, probably at least through 2014, probably into 2015 would be my answer. Thanks, Juan. Thanks for the question, buddy. Enjoy your weekend. 
And question number four, the last question for today is from Slim Cargo. How is your game room coming? I just wanted to give a quick update on this. There is no update. and <laughs> Not really. Uh, actually, you guys can't even see behind me. I just managed to catch the books that have not been touched. I've actually been starting to break down some of the books, put them in bins, get them up in the attic, starting to slowly break this room down. Uh, we're trying to find a good date um, for my son because the whole crux of it is we're moving him out of that room into this room. He has just kind of gotten into a big boy bed, so he's terrorizing us with that, getting out and running around and things. So we're waiting for that to calm down and having a good weekend, because we kind of envision not very good sleeping. You know, he's going to be in a new bed. He's in a new bed already, but he's pretty good with that now. But then we're going to be shipping him into a new room. I foresee myself probably having to sleep on the floor next to him at least a night or two. <laughs> and we're just trying to pick a good weekend that we both are kind of up for that, because I've been sick, as you guys know. My wife has been sick now recently. As I've gotten better, she's gotten sick. Uh, things have been crazy with just activities and work and things, so uh, it's probably going to be, it's not going to be this week, maybe next week, but next week is my birthday, so that might not work, so soon, pr- before the end of April, we'll probably make that move. Once he's out of there, I'm stripping the room down, I have to run a couple, I have to run coax cable for internet, that's not a big deal, uh, build a desk, those types of things, so we're looking a uh, little ways out. I do have a new PC case coming, so that's the first kind of item I ordered. That's still about four weeks out. It's on back order. It's something crazy. I will go into that as I get things. I'll do unboxings. I'll do reviews of things. Um, so we're probably looking somewhere in March that I'll really kind of ha- be in there. Uh, I won't be done for a long time, but to the point maybe I could do a setup video maybe end of March. Probably ambitious, but we'll see. I, I plan to do like videos um, updates and show you the process too. You know, maybe before I build the desk and then as I build the desk and then these little things and, and what's going on. But it's going to be a work in progress for a long time because I have big plans for it and I want to do it right and I'm going to do it at my pace and, and at my budget, you know, obviously. So, um, it hasn't really, not much, it's still in the conceptual phase. I've done a couple things as far as running wires and stuff like that and prepping. I have stuff all ordered, ready to go, plan of attack, all that stuff. It's just a matter of when we pull the trigger. I'm moving my son in here. And I'm going to have a long weekend. But it's all right. Progress onwards and upwards, right? So thank you very much, Slim Cargo, for the comment. I appreciate it. Look forward to having more news for you very soon, okay? Enjoy your weekend. And that'll do it for this episode, guys. Like I said, I'm off to a kind of action-packed weekend. It might even rain. I hope not. I I really want to get out and and have some fun. Um, And I will be playing. I think I'm going to be streaming tonight uh, just to kind of make a late announcement. Company uh, community night. Um, we're going to get on, play some Battlefield 4. I'm going to be streaming in case you don't feel like playing. Obviously, jump in there and hang out. Uh, probably be like 9, 10 uh, p.m. Eastern Eastern time. Uh, my Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash Cobra 08. There's a link down below. You can just click on there, follow, and then come back at your leisure. Uh, the idea is to get a whole bunch of people together from the community, play together, hang out on the stream, just have a good time and have laughs and have fun and, and kind of bring everybody together because we're all kind of segmented around in other games. It's just the state of Battlefield 4, isn't it? So if you're interested in that, make sure you check it out and uh, come on in and hang out. I will kind of upload some of that over the weekend, probably the highlights of it, onto my channel if you miss it. But other than that, no really huge plans this week. The next week is going to be crazy with my birthday and Easter, so we're probably going to lay a little bit low this weekend. So hope you guys have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for all your support, like always. And I'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care.